Alright guys, trying to figure out this um, Johnny Cash bass line. I've got pretty close. I don't f I'm not sure if this is exactly how it's done, but this was this my rendition of it. So, well this is the original sound. I think it's definitely like, it's got a kind of distorted sound to it, because the way it was produced probably run through some heavy analogue distortion. Uh, but, the closest I could get to it is this. So you got the same, like, it's kind of a standard bass tone with like a resonant, I think it's like a first harmonic. And then I heard that reverb in there, it's got that tail, and then obviously saturation. And then what I've done, it's just got a standard 909 kick, add a bit of saturation to that as well to get a distorted sound, heavy compression, and then bust the two together because there's definitely a kind of side chain effect going on. I'm not sure if it's a side chain or not, but when you hear the kick, ducks the bass. So I'll show you what I mean here. This is the bass sound. Heavy the kick, and the kick, and the bass kind of duck each other out. So as soon as the kick punches in, ducks the bass, and you get that's what gives you that envelope. Uh, so I'll start with the synthesis from back to front with the bass. I won't bother with the kick because you can figure that one out yourself. So, so there's our kick. It's just down 909 kick, bit of distortion, worked a little bit with the envelope but nothing too major and then key I think is uh, it's heavy compression so really really short release to give it that, that distortion uh, okay so let's go the bass I just started with um, sorry pretty ghetto video setup here uh, I started with um, just a quite simple where are we what mode was it? Okay, so what have we got here? I turn this off. So it's just simple sine wave uh, envelope. It's just um, just to shorten that sustain. Uh, and then I added the harmonic, which is again a sine wave. Uh, so you second harmonic. And then you can hear that that kind of garagey like resonant bass line sound. Uh, and then I added a filter envelope. So this is just um, it's a low pass filter uh, set pretty low because you want it to start from basically from the, well I've got 125 hertz here and then it will just open up. So set res resonance kind of moderate level. And then I've just got like a, a slope on the attack. So you can hear it kind of opens up like that's nothing. And uh, you want the oops, sorry. So that's how you get that sound. And then I've added the saturator. Set the frequency uh, kind of around low mids because that's where you don't want to distort the bass to give it too much crunch because that's what the compression is going to do. And I find if you go too far up, you get a really tinny kind of distortion, which isn't what this sound has. Reverb, uh, I've given it like just a, a very slight uh, high cut and then. Um, 770 milliseconds decay, so it's quite long. Uh, and then, yeah, that's it really. Add the kick, and then you really don't get the effect unless you compress the two. I mean, the sound is quite a kind of lo fi distorted kind of a, it's got a lot of crispy top end as well, I mean it will sound, you won't achieve that sound necessarily just digitally I don't think, but that's the closest I get, hope this helps.